I'm going to waste four hours of it picking your lazy, tight-fisted ass up. Get the bus. Yeah, and the kids, all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some lovely, amazing Sean Locke. This is Sean Locke living each day like it's your last. Wow, that's very, very dark. To be fair, I feel like I do live my life similar to that. I think I am like that. But yeah, let's go. There isn't a single person in this room, right, who's ever heard anyone ever say anywhere ever, oh, there's a really good chemist around the corner. <laughs> You've got to go and see him. He's amazing. The way he just finds stuff. He's like a wizard, man. Because you can't be really good at a job that you can't be shit at. You know, it's impossible to be a shit chemist, isn't it? You know, the only way you could be a shit chemist is if you kept all your pills in a big pile like that. <laughs> And he just walks in with a prescription and just goes, Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, is it? <laughs> but I couldn't do that job, could I? I didn't have the, didn't have the exams, you know? I couldn't have been an optician either. That's even easier. They do even less, right? Optician, this is all they do. This is all an optician does. This is all they do. <coughs> Better or worse? Better or worse? Or better or worse. <laughs> That's it. That's a career, that is. That is. You do all the work, don't you? Uh, well, I think it's... But I'm, uh, I think it, it, look, don't ask me. I'm not the blind bastard. I just put the things in the slots. You say yes, we go home. I'm not saying I could have done any job. There's loads of jobs I couldn't have done. I couldn't, I couldn't have been... Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't have been a doctor, for example. That's years of dedication, hard work, expertise, passion. Mm. I could be a doctor on something like Embarrassing Bodies. I could do that. I could do that job, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do that. I've always well, hoped if, you know, the next time we Channel 4 yeah. do some kind of mix-up, we do a... That was such a mad show. People that go on that show, Embarrassing Bodies, like, what? Like, they, mate, there's no way if I've got some... I don't know, if I've got a... a, a, a second penis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. My brain. What goes through my brain? I feel like I'm too open to you guys. Literally, it comes to my head and I just, I just say it. Literally, everything I say is what I'm thinking of right there. So let's say I've got a second penis now. I'm not going to embarrassing bodies to tell everyone. No, there's no chance the all of UK see my second penis. There's no chance. But some people, they don't care. They don't, they will show everything. Or they've got some something growing, uh, I don't know, uh, on their ball sack, I don't know, uh, something growing on their knee. Like, mate, don't, you don't have to show everyone. Like, I'm intrigued. Does like, like, if you're gonna help me, help me, you know, help me fix it. But I'm not showing it to people, man. Uh, do they get paid? Um, they, might, they must get paid for it. Let me know. Do they get paid for going on TV showing their embarrassing bodies? And it's not embarrassing. It depends on what it is, man. Some people have some weird, some weird kinks. Some people might be into second penises. You never know. Why did I even choose penis? Why? Why? Let's continue. Sorry. Eight out of ten cats does embarrassing bodies. I'd really like that. <laughs> we do eight out of ten cats does embarrassing bodies. I'd really like that. <laughs> I turn up with a box of matches and a glass of brandy. <laughs> and whatever they show me, I just go, Ugh! So, um, yeah, they say, don't they? They say you should live every day as if it's your last. Live every day Definitely. as if it's your last. And to me, that's not just a philosophy. It's also a very good excuse for not picking someone up from the airport, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I will pick you up, but at the moment, I'm living every day. Sorry, that's so As weird. if it's my last! Sorry, that's so weird. Why, why is it that every time I react to something, it kind of relates to my life? Like, I'm, I'm sure I've told you guys, my girlfriend's in New York. She went to New York for the week. She just got back now. She's, you know, she flew from Etro. And she's getting a coach from Etro back to Birmingham. She texts me there when I, f I fly landed. I know she was going to get a coach. And I know she was joking. But she goes, she goes, uh, can, you, can you come pick me up? And I, I reply, there is no fucking chance. <laughs> 
of me driving two, three hours to Etro. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, if, if I have not the choice, yeah, yeah, if I have not the choice. But obviously, I know she can just get it. She's gonna get a coach now. But there's no, it was like, I was tired. I was in bed when she texted me. Like, there's no chance. If you're stuck 100%, I wouldn't think to it. I'll just do it. But yeah, let me know. Would you guys, if you live in London, no, if you live in Birmingham and your missus is not really, she's, she's only doing it because of, you know, she wants to be more convenient. Would you go pick them up? If you're, if you're literally in bed and, and they're sending you the text last minute. I know my girlfriend, I know, I know she was joking. But let's say your missus or your mister wasn't joking. And they tell you come pick them up last minute. Would you go? Could that be cause of fire as well? Let me know. <laughs> and if it was my last day on the earth, there's no fucking way. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm living every day. <laughs> as if it's my last. <laughs> and if it was my last day on the earth, there's no fucking way I'm going to waste four hours of it picking your lazy, tight-fisted ass up. Get the bus. Yeah, and the kids. All of you, yeah. <laughs> You should live life to the full, shouldn't you? Like, my dad's 84, just learnt Chinese. That's amazing, isn't it? He's 84, Why? he's just learnt Chinese. Well, I hope so. We only got him a single ticket. <laughs> joke is people think it's not true that's what i really like about it yeah. they think it's some kind of old, no, no. it's not strictly true it wasn't china it was switzerland but um <laughs> <laughs> somebody clapping that <laughs> this makes more sense that does because you're right i mean it wouldn't work if i said if my dad's just learned swiss you know if you've only got him a single ticket, because it wouldn't work, would it? Because people go, well, they have four languages in Switzerland, so they don't have a <laughs> national language. <laughs> See why I chose the other punchline now. Uh, it lost me. It lost me there at the end, but I did get most of it. I did get most of it. Sean Locke, man, legend, legend. Um, it's just so sad that I only discovered him after he died, man. Legend. I've seen a few of his stuff. Some of the stuff from. Did he do a few mock? Did he do mock to week? Can't remember. Did he do mock the week as well? Can't remember. But I did one. There was one I really, that I really liked about uh, being racist. Uh, can't remember now. But I really it was some some about racism. But I really liked it. it. Was really really good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep checking out more Sean Locke. There's a good chance it's gonna be copyright on this because it's always blocked on YouTube. But yeah, if you wanna see without being blocked, check out the Patreon. Make sure you guys like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.